if you were looking at jumping on the cloud-based brokerage model as your brokerage, you are not alone. There are so many amazing things that have come from the cloud-based brokerage model boom. Most of the models have rev share, equity ownership, competitive splits, and wonderful options and value adds that come along with joining the brokerage. But this one thing has absolutely come to the forefront. Some are offering a silo model where you have mutually exclusive value depending on who you join at the specific brokerage in addition to all of those things. And some look at it and say, we want everyone to have access to all of the same things. So today we're gonna to talk about brokerage model silos and discuss are they a good thing or a bad thing and what they mean for you and your career. Because at the end of the day, you are the business owner and that's exactly where we wanna go with this one. So let's dive in. What's up guys, Jeremy Kane, Real Estate Agent Playbook. Excited to dive into this one because silos are a word that is being tossed around when you're looking at all of the different cloud-based brokerage options because you've decided that the brick and mortar option isn't for you. So if you like what you hear, I certainly talk about the cloud-based brokerages, our group at eXp, the Wolfpack, as well as all things real estate agent related as far as growing your business organically through your sphere of influence and through your industry partners, which absolutely transform my business. And unlike what other people say is absolutely scalable. That's what I talk about here on this channel. So if you're interested in that, please like comment and subscribe and definitely stay in touch. Would love to hear from you, um, have your engagement and discuss exactly what you are looking for in your real estate career. Because ultimately my goal is to help you win every single day at the game of real estate. Okay, so let's start by defining silo. When you think of silo, you immediately think of the Eastern Plains of Colorado. So we all know what a silo is on the farm. You store grain, you store certain things, you keep things separate. In the cloud-based brokerage model, this is very similar. It is access to exclusive resources or tools or support available to only members of a specific group or a specific downline within the cloud-based brokerage model. And this is something that has been brought to the forefront because some of these brokerage models are absolutely like, okay, yeah, silos are okay. And some are like, nope, if you offer something for free to somebody who joins you, you need to offer it to the entire brokerage. And, you know, otherwise, you know, you can still, you know, have people pay for your courses and pay for your, you know, value. But if it's being offered, you must give it to everybody within the brokerage or have them have easy access. So that's anti-silo. So those are the kind of two differences when you talk about it. But why do they exist? Well, when this cloud-based brokerage model started and they got rid of all of the middleman, right? Revenue share versus profit share, the XP, um, they decided to pull um, out the recruiters and all the things that helped grow the traditional brick and mortar franchise brokerages. So at EXP, there's just two two pieces, right? So within that, when EXP came on the scene and started, you know, disrupting the industry as the first cloud-based brokerage model, um, they definitely stepped back and said, okay, well, people are going to grow this. People are going to have different skill sets, right? When I was coming to this brokerage, uh, I interviewed with Ricky Carruth. He was an absolute stud when it comes to, you know, cold calling and scripts and all of that or Mike Sherrard, right? Mike Sherrard obviously is more social media based, more modern marketing stuff, both absolutely great leaders, absolutely great options. But depending on who I joined under, I would have access to Ricky or Mike. And so as you can see, those silos are kind of created. I chose Mike uh, because it lent more to my business, taking nothing away from Ricky. He does a great job with, you know, people that are into to his definition of business, which is absolutely okay. And that's the beauty of real estate. And what I talk about so often on this channel, everything works. It just depends on how you do it. So the silos did kind of form within that piece because you have these entrepreneurial leaders coming in and saying, okay, I'm going to grow my business based on, you know, this is what value I can bring because this is how I built my business as a real estate agent. So then you can see as that happens, the silos kind of form out. And then you have these groups, right? These groups of pride, these groups of, you know, exclusivity. And this is absolutely the key, right? So as we get into the benefits of the silos, 
um, you start to see that people want to be a part of something exclusive. People say, okay, well, I'm going to join, you know, XYZ brokerage, but you know, if I have this option, I can get this, right? We have all access to eXp, the amazing tools, resources, everything that's offered there, but then there's a cherry on top and I can choose my lane. And regardless of which lane I choose, it's going to help me define how I build my business and where my business grows. And, and that, you know, goes from there. So early on in the cloud-based brokerage model, everyone is selling the, the brokerage model, right? Because it's the latest and greatest. They change this thing that wasn't working at this brokerage and all the things. But as the company grows and becomes a formidable brokerage, there is also opportunity to, to join some specialty that maybe you're interested in. And that's very important at any brokerage to align with the group of people that you want to, right? People want to be exclusively inclined to, you know, have certain access because that's how they build their business, right? If you just have a bunch of different options and there's so many resources that you can't even, you know, start to get through them all while selling houses, then that's, you know, an issue. So with this, you have the exclusive resource, which makes people feel good. We have access to this. This is awesome. I get it for free, all the things, right? And then you have the empowerment of entrepreneurship, right? Because you as an entrepreneur can sit down and be like, okay, this is my superpower. This is what I'm good at. And this is how I can help agents, not just in my city, right? Not just in my competition, but everywhere across the globe. And I can build these networking relationships and referral relationships. And I can help people in my own city as well, right? In the end, we're all in this together, right? As a real estate agent, I don't care if you're my next door neighbor, I want you to win. And that's because I've seen what this business has done. And, you know, the abundance mindset of closings happen every day. Shout out to Ricky on that one, right? That we have this opportunity to build this business. But if I'm sitting at home and I'm like, okay, I really want to grow this. I really want to have a revenue share organization. I really want to develop an, an exit strategy. But if I build something, I have to give it to everybody. Therefore, there's no reason to join me over the next guy just because they like my personality, right? If I have a resource to give them that I can build, I can take my time and energy and build it because I know it can be a resource. Well, then I don't have to sell it if people get it for free when they join under me, right? So it allows me to build my business, build my long-term income based on, you know, revenue share versus, you know, trying to sell and sales funnels and all of those things. And so, the empowerment to be an entrepreneur exists solely in the silo model because yeah, okay, certainly if you're a DXP and I'm offering my course, you can purchase it, right? That helps me, that pushes me along. Or if you're in my group, I can absolutely, you know, offer it to you and coach you along in that aspect, which is what I do. This is why I'm here, right? I didn't want to join uh, a brokerage where I was a team leader managing broker because I didn't like doing all the other things that come along with it. I enjoy coaching and helping people build a business organically. So I'm able to provide a resource that teaches agents to do that. And I'm still able to earn income based on revenue share because truly I believe if someone goes through my course, it's available that you get for free when you join me, they're going to be a better agent. They're going to sell houses, right? And so that's that's the number one reason that it's more entrepreneurial, right? I'm in control versus sitting here saying, okay, I have a lot to give, but if I build this, I have to give it to the other 90,000 agents day one at my brokerage. Mm, that doesn't sound very profitable to me because that takes 90,000 people that I'm connected with out of, out of the ability for me to earn income off of that piece. Or I could say, okay, I'll sell it to people right? I'll sell it to you if you join my brokerage. That that doesn't work in my opinion, right? Because then you join my brokerage, you join my downline, and I still sell it to you. That means I'm making more money off of you than, you know, ultimately it might be worth. So at the end of the day, the silo model gives you an opportunity to give back and help those that make the sacrifice to, you know, leave their managing broker or leave whatever, you know, as you know, I left my dad as a managing broker. So there's not too many people that can can argue that they love their managing broker and that's why they're staying. But at the end of the day, there is so much value, right? And then what happens when you have that community and you have that support, 
right? As you grow, as everyone's kind of plugging into this because this is the lane or the silo they chose, then that community builds and then people start supporting each other. And then all of a sudden we have a community, right? We have a true community of agents as we go. And so the silo model is exactly opposite of what, you know, some of these other brokerages are talking about with, you know, hey, we're, we're one company, we're one silo, you know, there's no silos here, everybody's the same. Well, if everyone's the same, then everyone makes the same amount of money, has the same opportunity, and ultimately that leads to an employee mindset, in my opinion. So as we expand on that, you have uniformity and fairness, right? As an entrepreneur, you want to be unique, you want to build something, you have an idea, your ideas are proprietary and you can take them and run with it. But if it's uniform and fair, you know, I tell my kids all the time, fair isn't equal, right? If I hear my six year old tell me something isn't fair one more time today, probably gonna lose my mind. But the truth is that life isn't fair. And in this, you know, entrepreneurial world or this business world, commission based world that we live in as agents, it's not fair, right? The only thing fair is if you direct your time and your energy towards a certain thing and you make the right choices and you, you know, do the right things that produce income, then that's the only fair, right? Your time invested creating income is how you create fairness. It's not everybody has access to everything. You know, here's, here's your handout. Here's this handout. That's absolutely not the case. There's a sacrifice that agents make when they decide to join a cloud-based brokerage and join a specific organization, right? That's their sacrifice. So if they want to do that because they align with the, the ideals and the, you know, community that we build within our silos, then great. But if it's everyone's fair, everything's fair, everything's uniform, ultimately that leads to an absolute disaster of mediocrity in my opinion. So that's, that's exactly the difference between the silo model and the one brokerage, one resource model. And then as we go, it becomes, you know, infiltrated with a ton of different things and you don't know and you have to go through this course and you have to go through that one sheet and you have to do all of this and it becomes so bogged down and watered down that agents do not find that specialization track that they are on and with that said you know the some of the all of these cloud-based brokerages have different tiers right so in the end if you have four or five seven tiers of agents above you that are all offering something different it allows for a diverse option and offering which is absolutely key when building these silos out right because each silo you can you know for somebody that joins me okay you want to talk about real estate investing well great you're going to align with connor this is when his live call is exclusive for the wolfpack and this is when his you know where his course is and all that you can do with that oh you you'd rather do social media and scale through youtube or instagram or TikTok or you know facebook whatever that is well that's that's mike right mike sherrard's one of the you know number one social media coaches for real estate agents there is so boom you're gonna plug into his stuff oh okay great you're you got that you found mike on social media you feel like you're pretty good well then bam louis galt absolutely stud with time management systems processes and productivity so once you build the business through social media you have that option oh you actually want to sell houses and you know have set plans based on building a foundation and develop certain lead generation pillars that will absolutely let you crush your business well that's what my course offers right and so as you can see the differentiation allows for people to kind of pick and choose but that's where the diversity comes from it doesn't come from all of us throwing all the same thing because at exp alone you could have 10 different youtube courses that all say the same thing all were built from one social media course pretty much and you know then what then you follow this one you follow that one it's overwhelm and it actually pushes down the you know specialization opportunity because there is so much right it's analysis by paralysis so i believe that truly if everything's available to you and everyone's fair and equal it definitely reduces the entrepreneurship you know spirit within our industry so um and like i said it's not for everyone some people want it to be you know everything equal have access to everything some people want all the all the information very few people go through every single course that even we offer here so I can imagine in a you know vast field of overwhelm that there's probably not a ton of 
people that are going through all of the things and actually determining what their specialization field should be. So when we really pull back the curtain, we look at this, what's the difference, right? Let's go back to brick and mortar. The truth is that brick and mortar are even silos within their self, right? There's certain brokerages that you think of when you think of luxury. There's certain brokerages that you think of when you think of first time home buyers. There's certain brokerages that you think of when, you know, you're talking about discount brokerages or whatever. And so the brokerage model is siloed in itself, right? So it's just the whole brokerage is a silo. So certainly a boutique brokerage can absolutely specialize in historic homes in Denver because there's 20 agents that can roll. There's 20 agents worth of inventory there that you can pull that market share into that brokerage and, and fit that model. Okay, when we're talking about nationwide or global operations, there's a whole different ballgame, right? And so truthfully within the cloud-based brokerage model, these silos operate as individual specialization brokerages, right? With EXP taking the, you know, all the brokerage side out of it and all of the, all of the overhead and all of the things that come with being a broker, right? But you have these silos that operate. So it's really just an extension of what we have seen historically within silos, right? Not to say brick and mortar and the business model and all the things are the same, but there's brokerages. If I said to you their name right now, you would have a generalization of what their silo specifically is. And so I don't want it to feel like it's completely foreign that this is what's going on. It's just the true mass number of, you know, agents that are going to these cloud-based brokerages because they're, you know, global, they're nationwide, right? So it takes a whole lot for a brick and mortar and a ton of money to be in all 50 states because you have to have a brick and mortar location, you have to have office staff, you have to have all this overhead that stacks up where the cloud-based model kind of eliminated that. But these silos are absolutely pieces of the puzzle, which in all actuality are what a, a normal brokerage is. You just don't have to join a different brokerage in order to have access to certain things when you join the right organization. So ultimately, the entrepreneurial freedom that comes from these silo based models allows for agents to feel a part of something, feel a part of a community and have that culture that's absolutely undeniable that everyone is searching for within life. Right. And so having the entrepreneurial freedom, certainly if you want to go build a course and build a downline, go do it. If you just want to sell houses and learn from people that have done it in a certain way, then you're able to do that. Right. That's that's about who you join when you join one of these, you know, leaders at one of these cloud based brokerage companies. However, if you have no silos, then it's kind of like, OK, well, I'm just going to join this company and it doesn't really matter because I'm going to get access to everybody. But think about that when you're looking at building an organization, you're building some passive income because that's what a lot of these cloud-based models are, you know, they all include that revenue share piece or profit share piece. And as that happens, then they, you know, are like, okay, well, why would someone join me? Right? So the lack of silos and the lack of exclusivity actually limits your ability to create an exit strategy that is revenue share based on the EXP model that so many have come along and duplicated as they go. And so when you're thinking about joining one of these brokerages, please reach out. There's a link below to reach out and talk to me about this. I'm sure that people will have different opinions on, on it, um, just like the political race, just like the presidential race. Um, I just wanted to bring to you the fact that, you know, I feel like there's so many people saying the silo model is terrible for real estate and terrible for you as an agent. And the truth is it's absolutely the opposite of that, right? If everyone's in one thing, everyone's fair and uniform and equal, we're not, we're not making a ton of, of headway when it comes to, okay, I want to trade my time for this system that I can create that will, you know, benefit my family and my exit strategy down the road. So I hope that helps kind of separate that and kind of brings to light what the silo uh, word and definition that you're talking about is. If you want to chat about this, please book a call with me. Uh, the opportunity to join the, the record-breaking group at, the, at EXP, the Wolfpack, is 100% on the table. And we do offer a quite diverse um, offering of extra value adds in addition to the great brokerage model that we already are a part of. So please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.